Hello, I'm Henry from IBM NQ Product Management, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a basic IBM NQ Key Manager on Red Hat OpenShift. Now, this video will follow the README from one of Martin Evans's GitHub repositories um, available in IBM Messaging, and this particular repo is called Key Manager Basic Deployment. So, this repository itself contains samples that can be used to deploy a single instance Key Manager running in a ROSA cluster. So that's the Q manager with no HA and no MQ clustering. So it will set up the IBM MQ console and the MQ operator will create a URL so you can access the console. And note that we're installing the developer edition of IBM MQ here and that these are all samples so should not be put into production. I'll first start by deploying a ROSA cluster. So if you're not an OpenShift user already, um, there's a trial you can access that grants you a ROSA cluster for eight hours. So if you go to your search engine and enter OpenShift trial or OpenShift ROSA trial, you'll see this link, get started with ROSA, Red Hat OpenShift, and this option to try it now. If I log in here with my email, and I can get access to the trial. So here you can access the experience. I scroll down here, I can access the environment. So if I just scroll down here, I can find the link to the console and a temporary username and password is given to me. So I'll paste it into my browser. And now I have access to a ROSA cluster. Okay, so once you have access to your cluster, there are a few dependencies that you need to make sure that you've got in place. So if we follow our readme, the first one is that we need the web terminal operator. So if we go to operators, operator hub, and search for the web terminal, we keep the default settings and hit install. And we can know that this is installed correctly. If we refresh the screen, we should see we should see our web terminal icon appear in the top right. Another dependency we need is the IBM NQ operator. So if we go ahead and copy this YAML from our README, this will add the operator to the catalog, and then we can go ahead and download it from the operator hub. So if we hit this plus button in the banner at the top, import our YAML, hit create, and then we can come along to our operator hub and search for our operator, IBM MQ. There it is. If we hit install, keep everything as default. Okay, so we've successfully installed the IBM MQ operator and we know that it's ready for use. Next, we're going to install the certificate manager. So if we go back to our operator hub and search for cert manager, and we download the community edition. Hit install, we're going to keep everything as default. Okay, now we know we're ready for use. So once our certificate manager is installed, we can go ahead and add a cluster issuer. So if we go back to our readme, there's a sample in here that gives us cluster issuer. So if we go ahead and hit create cluster issuer, here's where we'd override the YAML from our sample. And now we've got all our dependencies we should be able to create a queue manager. So if we go and create a new project, and we'll call it MQ Demo,
hit create. And now we need to create a secret for the MQ console and the application user. So if we go back to our readme, there's an OC command here that creates that secret. And if we paste that into our terminal, there we go, our secret's created. With the password, change this password, obviously, for the sample, we're gonna leave it as it is, but you'd wanna change that, of course. And now we're gonna add some sample YAML files to our cluster. So let's go ahead and close the terminal. So the sample YAML files can be found in the repo. Let's go ahead and start by adding the MQSC config. So let's go ahead and copy that config and add it to our cluster. Next, let's add the certificate. And now the queue manager. So this queue manager being deployed is using the latest MQ94. So we should now have a running MQ queue manager and the MQ console. So if we go to our installed operators, Hit Q Manager on IBM and Q Operator. Select our QM demo. And from here, we can launch the web console. So we'll accept the risk here. Obviously, this is just for test purposes, so the security risk <laughs> we'll ignore. And we'll enter our username. It's already been configured as admin. And our password is change this password as we didn't actually change this password. And there we go. We have our QM demo running on our console, access to our console inside of an OpenShift cluster. Let's go ahead and deploy some sample applications that are also available in MQ GitOp samples. So if we go back to our readme, we'll deploy some sample Java applications for producer and consumer using OC command from the command line in OpenShift. So we'll go ahead and copy the commands to create these apps and go back to our web terminal and open shift. So let's create the producer. And now let's create the consumer. And if we look in our console now, we should see those applications connecting once they've spun up. So if we manage our key manager, So now that the channels have been configured, we can see that those applications have connected to our queue manager. We can see my producer and my consumer sending and receiving messages from our queue manager. We can see here, we're receiving messages. Thank you for watching this video. As I mentioned, all these samples can be found in IBM Messaging MQ GitHub samples.